Hey guys, I'm Steve. This is Wilmer Woodworks. In this episode, I am going to show you how I made this ornament on my laser cutter with two pieces of software, Canva and Lightburn. Now this is a layered, so this has multiple layers to it, and it's a nice Christmas easy ornament. And if you're anything like me, you're kind of scared about make, making layered items not sure how to do it well i am here to tell you it is easy and you can do it pretty much in one evening uh, so i made this design really quick and we're going to jump over to the software i'm going to show you how to do it and then we'll go jump over to the laser i'll show you how it cuts and i'll actually show you how i improved the cut from a previous cut so let's get to it Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to canva.com and create a new design. The design format we're going to go with is a flyer portrait 8.5 by 11. Now, it doesn't really matter on the size because we're just going to use the elements. So we don't need a template. We're going to go straight to these elements right here. And we're going to type in Santa Silhouette and see what comes up. Now, we do want graphics only, not photos. And here is a free design. Now you can see when you go into Canva, there are pro designs with a little crown. I am a pro member, so I'm going to take that as well. The next item we want is a palm silhouette. Uh, palm tree silhouette. There we go. I'm going to take this guy. We do want items that are e going to be easy to uh, laser engrave and cut, so nothing too complicated. I don't want something with all these little wisps. So we'll take that guy too next item we're going to want is Merry Christmas so we want some nice font for that uh, I like the way this one looks here oh, that one is white so we want to change that color to black and we'll just leave that right there and then the final item we're going to want is uh, a background so let's go with ocean sunset Let's see what we got. So these are all pretty good. We got something a little beachy, but something that will laser engrave as a background good. This one is pretty decent. Let's see what other options do we have. I don't know. This, this one looks nice. Hmm. I like that one too. And don't be afraid to grab something that has colors in it. That won't be an issue once we get to and when you click on this this will show you additional items that are available. Um let's see, I know I've used this one before. So let's let's get rid of this one and this one and we'll just move this one over here. Okay, so we're just gonna call this ornament and we are going to download it. So usually you would download this if you have the free um, transparent background. Again, this is for the pro member and uh, SVG is perfect. So I'm gonna go with transparent and I'm just gonna download that. Now that we have all of our elements for our design, we are going to go over to Lightburn and put these designs into our ornament. Okay, now that we're in Lightburn, we're going to take a circle, holding shift, open that up, and we want that circle to be three inches. We're going to do an offset. We're going to do it inward. We're going to do quarter of an inch and we're going to click OK. Now we're going to do a second circle. We're going to do that shift. We're going to do 0.5 half inch offset of 125. Click OK. We're going to select both. Hit escape. Delete this. All right, we're going to select both of these and we're just going to move this down so the inner circle is just at the top. We're going to select both of these and we are going to align this in the centers and then we are going to do a weld. So now with that selected, control copy, control V. So we already have one la layer. Now this is our second layer. We just don't want to modify any of these sizes moving forward now. 
So we're going to make a couple of sand dunes. We're going to do that by drawing an ellipse and another ellipse. While that's selected, hold shift and <coughs> hold shift, select Boolean union, shift select Boolean union, OK, ungroup, select that little piece, delete that, select everything again, group it back together, control copy, control V. Now we're going to bring in our elements. So we import the elements that we downloaded from Canva. And we're going to do these individually. First thing we're going to grab is our palm tree. Holding shift, you can resize. We're going to take this and we are going to do two palm trees on this ornament. So we're going to hit control copy, control V. We're going to put this on this side and we are going to flip that. Now we're going to have Hold shift, select the main unit, unit, Boolean union, OK, shift, Boolean union, OK. All right, that is our middle layer. Now for our top layer. So our top layer, we're going to include Santa Claus. All right, so let's see which one of these Santa Claus is. So we'll grab this guy, and we I'm going to flip him because I want him to go that way. And I'm going to, actually, he's a little thin there, so I'm going to do an offset outward. 0 0.04. We're going to delete the original. And that's, let's, let's do that again. So offset, let's see, zero, four, nine, there we go, that's a little bit better. So he's a little bit fatter here on these lines, and that should be better when we laser and cut that. So holding shift, we're going to downsize, oops, we're gonna down, not holding shift, we're going to downsize him a little bit, and we're just going to arrange him and tilt him. Perfect. Holding shift, hold the unit, and Boolean union. Now he is attached. And now we want to take our Merry Christmas, so we'll select that, and we are going to group it. We're going to move that over. Now you can say Merry Christmas, you can put the date, you could do whatever you care to, to do with these words. Uh, I'm just going to use the Merry Christmas and I am going to select this and I am going to do a center align and then click OK. The last item we have to do is our backer. So we'll take that and I'm going to group this because I want everything to be one group. So we're going to put this on our back. We're going to resize this just now. This is going to be covered by this here, so it can go a little bit larger, and that's fine. Okay, and I'm going to select, and I am going to align center. Okay, I'm going to click on this, and we're going to ungroup, and then I'm just going to delete this center. And now, with everything done, I'm going to uh, group this back together. Now with those other graphics uh, removed, I am going to select this and this will be my engraving la layer. Uh, this will be my cut layer. And then ungroup that for a moment. Uh, this will be just a laser. So I'm going to just do this as a line and then this will be a fill and before so let's group this together so that is grouped now these are not grouped yet so I'm going to select and I'm going to group that and now the la very last thing before I decide to do anything with this is I want to align centers so we're going to align that all on that line and then align that there. So I know it's a little hard to see, 
but you can see that this will be covered. So our backer looks good, our sailboat looks good, our palm trees look good, our palm trees won't be in front of or behind Santa Claus. So all of that really looks good. So we're gonna select this, holding shift, I'm just gonna move that over, select this, Holding shift, we'll move that, move that over. And that is it. So all we have to do, oh, I put these in the wrong order here. And it doesn't really matter. I just like to keep it uh, a little straight so I understand where everything is going. So we'll leave it like that. And now we get to send this to the laser engraver. Uh, we will actually let me adjust the, these layers. So I like to do my cut last and my line first. I don't know why I like to do line before ink filling, but that's the way I like to do it. And you always want to have your cut last just to make sure when it does cut off it's going to drop a little so uh, let's save that and I'm going to offer this uh, file for free so you should be able to go to the website my website and download this for free if you want to laser etch a Santa Claus flying over a beach with a sailboat with the sunset behind it all right now that we have everything aligned out we are going to cut it out. So I've got this little scrap here. I'm going to try to cut this on this. All right. I just want you to see how clean these cuts are. So you little tap a tap and they pop right out. Look at that. Even though that Santa only had those little tiny lines, it's perfectly cut. And look at this, most of all this just pops right out. But you know what I've got over here? Uh, little tiny tweezers that help with these little tiny sections. So we'll just pop that out. And then this little section right here. Oh, that just fell out. Just give it a gently push. Gentle push. And finally, a gentle push. All right, so we got Merry Christmas on top. Look how clean that is. Look at that. That is incredible, right? So all you could do is super glue that together. But let me show you something. This is one that I did yesterday. Similar design. I think I may have used a different Santa. You see the difference there? Look how white this one is. Look how burned this one is. That is because of the air assist. Now I did tell the system to use air assist on both of these. Let me take this out of this little cradle here. So I have the Creality Falcon 2. But if you look over here, this is the air pump. So this filter here, I ran that under the sink underwater, clean that up, put that back, and then as soon as I did, this light turned from red to green. This is red right now because it's not running. But that shows a clean cut, a dirty cut. So you want to make sure that filter is clean. So let's get over to our super glue and we will glue this together. Now, if you're like me and you like make a lot of these craft projects, super glue, it's your go-to, right? 
Now, especially when you're making these multi-layered ornaments. They're super easy to make, but you got to keep them together. Now, I like using the gel just because it seems like it's more substantial. It lets you a little move around a little bit than the liquid. So I also go for this multi-pack. It's 12-pack. It's pretty inexpensive. And since I go through it often, it's the way to go. This way I always have that container ready. So let's get to it. Now when I do my glue-ups, I always like to put it down on some cardboard. So these are my three layers, and that's the way I want to keep them. We're going to use our little gel applicator here. Now since these ornaments are a little delicate, I do like to put this on the underside. So just squeeze this gently. Here we go. Just a little couple dabs. Right over here. A little bit on there. A bit there. Alright. So we're going to align this. We only have a little bit of working time. So we want to make sure we get everything aligned correctly. And that's it. That's... That's not going anywhere now. So we get our next level. Now that's a little Santa Claus, a little Merry Christmas. Get a little on the reindeers here. Got to get that circle. And we want to make sure we do get all of our, just a couple little dabs here and there. Perfect. Now we're again, we're going to align our top circle. We're going to push that. we got a little bit of working time. A little bit. Make sure everything is aligned. Perfect. And that's it. That's not, that's together now. That's not going anywhere. So we are good to go. See? So I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial on how to design and cut and assemble a 3D ornament. All right, guys. I'm Steve, and this is Wilmer Woodworks. I appreciate you watching. If you like what you see, please feel free to subscribe. And until next time, keep building.